It's the most wonderful time of the year. Not really, it's not Christmas, but it is fall wear. Fall wear is here, and this is my first uh, fall outfits video of 2020. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know how excited I am about fall wear. This year, however, I will be missing out on pretty much all of fall. I leave next week for the islands. So I get one whole week left of creating and wearing as much fall content as humanly possible. This is gonna be a really lengthy video and I do apologize because I talked quite a bit, but there was a lot of things to go through. So grab your cups of coffee, grab your tea, grab your wine, and settle on in because we're gonna dive into some fall 2020 essentials. This first video is the fall essentials of 2020. These are gonna be basic items. I'm going to be making another video that is for fall trends of 2020. Those will be a lot more exciting, but these are the uh, essentials in my opinion, the basics, the staples of your fall wardrobe. I'm steering clear of blue jeans, just kind of like denim in general and you know plain white tees or um, basic blouses i'm steering clear of those things because they're just basics in general and we're not talking about basics we're talking about fall essentials so with that being said i have my very first pumpkin spice latte of the season of the year and i have yet to take a sip i figure now, while I'm filming this fall cozy vibes, it would be perfect to, to share and revel in my first sip with you here on camera. <sighs> that is so good. If enjoying a PSL makes me a basic then slap my ass and call me Sally because damn, that is delicious. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's their best drink in my opinion. Okay, well, let's get into this, shall we? Let's start with number one, turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are like the foundation piece to fall wear, I feel like. I have turtlenecks here in every color, basically. Every basic color, I have one. Let me see. So we've got your black, we've got the gray, and we've got the white. Anyway, turtlenecks are on my list because I wear turtlenecks all the time. I wear them under blazers, under jackets, just by themselves with a pair of jeans. Number two, sweatshirts. Now more than ever, I see sweat sets. Actually, Aritzia, the one I'm wearing right now is from Aritzia. Aritzia just came out with a sweat set line. It's called Cozy AF and it's fleece lined. They have three different, um, or three or four different sweatpants. So they've got the mega fit, the boyfriend fit, the perfect fit. They're all different fits, right? And then they've got their cropped hoodies and their boyfriend hoodies and their, you know, pullovers without the actual hood. So I ordered this hoodie online. I ordered this hoodie from the Chinook Center in Calgary. They just opened up actually. Beautiful. Comfortable, fits great, I got the size one. But they didn't have the matching pants. This is in the color Dusty Mauve, by the way. And they didn't have the pants. So I called my local one here in Edmonton and I put one on hold for the pants. And the color is slightly different. It's the same name, it's slightly different in color. Now I know dyes all, you know, have a slightly different color, especially when they're tie-dyed, it, it can be difficult to keep that same exact color. But I'm talking like the pants were a whole shade darker and you could tell when I put them on together. So moving on to knits. Like how could you not have knits on a fall essentials wardrobe? These are a few styles that I have here on my little, uh, hanger, a plain gray pullover. I have had this one, I talked about this one last year if you watched it. I've had this one for like four or five years. It's from And Other Stories. I don't even know if they still have the same one. You might be able to find a similar one though. 
This is another little cozy knit, but this one's a cardigan. I am finding actually, I'll talk about this in my trends video, cardigans are like going to be huge this fall. They were, they were big last fall, they're gonna be even bigger this fall, especially the big, big, chunky cable knit ones. So this one I've had for a year now, and the last I just got today, so the tag is still on it, actually. But this one's from Oak and Fort. A little bit trendier, because you kind of have the, the plaid in there, but it's subtle, and I think it'll last a long time. Just a couple little cozy knits, cozy cardigans, all that stuff. It is what I like to call leather weather. So I have a couple leathers here that I will show you. Both are from Aritzia. Mind you, all of these pieces that I'm talking about today will be linked down below, or if they're no longer available, if they're older styles, like a couple of them, I'll find very similar dupes for you. This is a beautiful leather skirt that I got from Aritzia. It's got kind of a cool little slit on the side right here for a little bit of leg. I love to wear this one with boots, pumps, um, even sneakers if you style it right, and leather pants. There are so many different leathers. You got leather boots, you got leather jackets, which I will get to a little bit later. Leather skirts, pants, I mean, there's now leather shirts. So many different ways you can wear leather, but it is definitely a fall essential. These are leather pants, also from Aritzia. Love these, they fit fantastic. I love that Aritzia is now coming out with styles that are a little bit longer because that's always been a problem for me personally is that everything that I would buy pant wise, it was never long enough. These ones are that perfect cropped fit. They're just long enough for like a proper crop where it's like just at the ankle. Trench coats, trench coats. I have a leather trench coat also from Aritzia that I got last year. And also just a cool camel trench coat. There's some cool detailing here, puff sleeves slightly. It's just that oversized like boyfriend fit. It has a little waist tie. I also have a trench coat that is like the classic. I didn't include that one, but it, it, it's also a nice uh, style. I just don't find that I wear that classic fit that much anymore. I used to a few years ago, but I'm finding that I'm wearing the boyfriend like oversized fits, especially in coats a lot more. Okay, trousers. Trousers are next. I have a few styles here that I'll show you. One of them is just a plain black trouser. I mean, you cannot go wrong with a basic black trouser. There are so many different ways to wear this pant. Like, it's crazy. I wear this pant as often as I wear denim. Everybody has a different fit and not always, but sometimes when you're trying on a pant and you really like it, it doesn't have that perfect fit. Maybe it's too big in the waist or it's you know too, a little too big in the butt, like if you have a smaller butt like me, <laughs> but it fits in length. What I like to do is I will factor in the price of the pant and then I'll decide if I really love it enough to tack on an extra 15 to $20 to go to the tailor and get it tailored to fit me to perfection. This pant, I did that with. It cost me an extra $20 to get it tailored and it was so worth it. And this pant fits like a glove. It was made for me. I suggest doing that if you are, you know, like really interested and want to make that investment. That's what I do to a lot of my pants. Now this one actually just fit great. So this one I got from Oak and Fort yesterday. I went there to their store just on a hunt for trousers and I knew that they would have some good pieces. So this one is again, another very classic, but it's, it's cropped at the bottom and it's straight leg, which I really like in trousers and it's, it's camel. So it's a very full color. Last piece that I'm going to talk about is moto jackets. I'm only actually going to talk about two and one is the more splurge and one is the more save to give you guys some options. So this one I got from Macage. Actually this one was a gift. This was my Christmas gift from my husband like three years ago. They have very very similar styles on Macage. Not much has changed but I don't know if this exact exact one like with the pebbled leather and everything will be available, but I will check for you. I have worn leather jacket, leather moto jackets since high school. And as embarrassing as that is, that was like 10 years ago. I think it was 10 years on the dot. Wait, oh my God, this is so sad. That was 12 years ago. 
Oh man, wow. Well, that's depressing. Moving on. I have to move on before I get emotional. And the other one is actually just the, the save version of that splurge. And this one is from Topshop. This is brand new. This will still be on the site, but I have a feeling that they will sell out very quickly. So if you're interested, I would jump on it. Um, this is, is like almost identical to my macage, but it's not pebbled leather. I mean, it feels great. It feels expensive. This is a great option for those who are interested in the save version. I also love moto jackets that are suede or like a maroon color or like a camel color. There's so many options with the moto jacket. These obviously are the most classic, probably the most versatile. You would probably get the most use out of a black one. They have not gone out of style in so many years. So you will get a lot of wear. That is it for my list. I talked your freaking ears off, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in the next one.